All right, so what would the uh, pros and cons be for buckets in home brewing? So, so buckets are a great place to start for a beginner home brewer because they're very easy to use, they're cheap and affordable, and they're virtually indestructible. And over time, they will break down or eventually they can become infected so that you know there's a lifespan on a bucket. Um, if you get a Krausen up into the uh, top of the lid too, they can be very hard to clean. There are a lot of nooks and crannies in there for stuff to hide. If you get anything up into that, sometimes it become hard to seal. So then what would the advantage of having a regular carboy be? So a regular carboy is going to have a neck down opening which gives you just one rubber bung you can sanitize over and over again. The cons with the carboy is, is the actual inside of the carboy is very hard to clean because you can't get to it. You have to use a special carboy brush. Uh, and then once you get it clean, it's really hard to move. If it's empty, you can use a carboy uh, handle. Um, but if it's full, you'll want to use carboy uh, straps to prevent breaking off the neck of the carboy. So um, the main things are it's very hard to get into to clean um, and it, it's very hard to move. All right, so then the advantages of the wide mouth carboy would be what? So the Keiko wide mouth carboy is, is, is very easy to clean. The lid is very simple design, so it doesn't have any surfaces for soils and, and bacteria to hide. And the glass is an impermeable surface, so as long as you can keep it clean and don't break it, uh, you'll be able to use it. And you can get your hand inside, so all the surfaces on the inside of the carboy you can clean. It also comes with a lot of thoughtful features, uh, including the, the straps and handles, and the built-in airlock, and the set your brew date dial. It's a large capacity will also allow you to ferment a five gallon batch with plenty of headspace to not get into the airlock.